that you do that. No, thank you very much. It's an honor to see you. I want to talk to you on the subject on thriving in adverse circumstances. Thriving. Let's go to the book of Matthew, chapter 14. Matthew. Matthew 14. Matthew 14. Matthew 14. Let's go to the book of Matthew, chapter 14. Okay. And um, let's start reading from verse number 13 right through verse number 33. Okay. Let's read. When Jesus heard it, what, what, did, he, what did he hear? John the Baptist, his cousin, has been killed. He was not only killed, but he was beheaded, which means... They chopped his head off. So when he heard that, then here's his response. Okay. It's from the end because there's some things I want to show you. It says, like verse number uh, 13. When Jesus heard it, he departed from there by boat to a, de to a deserted place. Underline that. I want to work with that. I want to work with that. To a deserted place. Or rather, the wilderness. Lifeless. He went into a desert place. He chose to go to the desert place. Okay, now watch. What happens in the desert place? Desert a place by himself, but when the multitudes heard it, they followed him on foot from the cities. When the multitudes, the crowds, in other words, of course, Jesus was always followed by crowds who either appreciated his ministry or were blessed by his ministry. Okay? They followed him on foot from the cities, and when Jesus went out, he saw a great multitude and was moved with compassion for them, and he healed their sick. So that's what he does. He heals their sick. When it was evening, his disciples came to him saying, this is a deserted place. Underline that. When it's evening, after the healing service is, is finished. So they feel about from the back. Look, you've done enough about Pilisi Laban to well. Let's send them away. And when it was evening, his disciples came to him saying, this is a deserted place. The hour is already late. Send the multitudes away that they may go into the villages and buy themselves food. So if the multitudes have got to buy the food in the villages, which means the place where Jesus was, there is no food to buy. They could not buy food at the place where Jesus was with his disciples. So we can say it's a desert. Some of the characteristics that are known from the text, from the scripture, or what the Bible, the characteristics, which means, I don't know how to simplify the word characteristics, are defining features, if you would. Maybe a dictionary would say that characteristics are defining features. So the defining feature of Atlanta corner is that the Abafundi Bakon after they have scanned the environment, they've looked at the environment, they say, I can agnas puzzle like Ungukinda Labanga Tanga Kona Bant Ugulala. Well Jess, Stradoba to Melet drop in Labanga Tola Konogul. It sounds like it's a good concern for people's health, but it's a concern that is born out of a lack of faith, that it doesn't know God. Yeah, but it sounds like a good concern. Number one. Be careful about who's advising you. Write that down. Be careful about who's advising you. Or be careful about the quality or the type of advice that you get. You may not know, you may not quantify, you may not appreciate the depth of what I'm saying, but allow me to preach to someone. I'm not here to make statements. I'm preaching to someone. I'm a preacher by calling. So I need to weave into, I need to weave the principle into the, into the sermon. I need to weave it into that. Okay. So number one, so we understand the So they come to Jesus after Jesus has had a healing service in this deserted place where the place looked like it's it's a, a, a desert for 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 this particular test. Nothing is gonna happen. Nothing is not a likely candidate. is a corn in dao abantu abas begela panzi. The corn in dao is paganiswa as well. When let's go back to John chapter one. John chapter one. Remember go to end found Jesus. Okay, no, no, don't read that. Don't read that. Remember those corner. Don't read them. And then in John chapter one. You can make a mental note of it or you can write it down. There were two disciples, baby men or John. John. Two 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 people, two guys were standing on John. Which is Magavela, which he hears the Lamb of God that take away the head the sins of the world. So the two disciples of Amen not John, I'm a disciple like John, but one of them is Andrew. 
um ayotola ba um for abo um o Peter as I'm telling you to found the Lord. But chilling on Nathaniel. Nathaniel, my bem chilling which is we found the Christ. But I said to Nathaniel, beganda, can anything good come out of Canaan? Of out of Canaan? Can anything good come out of Canaan? I can't. You can't tell me um um Christ to uso pumekan. My history doesn't tell me. In Gondam, it doesn't agree. You go to Msindi, so it's a long and a pumem cook in Nessex. So I'm a Makamabai undermine the can of Utum Sing, um Sindi, and Benga Kapumekon. So we understand, okay, so so nothing from Kan, can anything good come from Nazareth? Okay. So you understand, you go to get a gang like Nazareth, Tangang is a Pumu Christ to Messiah. So Gunabanti in Dao, Abazin Yata, I will undermine places, could they could never, nothing good, or a savior of the world could not, it's not possible, Utting about Pumi Nazareth. So, by the same token, sometimes we find a place in spiritual Nazareth. Something good come out of here. We space and go so ngendle listen to zam zamba ngai ayi kui breakthrough ngai tola angenge zengbe lenteng funu baiyo ngsese langkon. You see, ngamama kama we curse the place, we undermine the place, and which is in a deserted place. Naba funde bag, but uh, not here. We can't have a restaurant here when. Uh, Sometimes we find ourselves in places like that. In life, we find ourselves in places as Sistoles in Dawini, last Cabana corner, in a place spiritually. I don't qualify. I don't qualify. I don't qualify. I don't qualify. I Sometimes we must learn last one according king as one opportunity because God sees opportunities where we see problems. Let's let's work with that because I wanna take it I take it wanna take it for let's let's read that. It says, and when uh, verse, verse 15, when, when Jesus went out and saw a great Matthew 14, he was moved with compassion for them and healed their sick. And it was evening, his disciples 15 came to him saying, This is a deserted place, the hour is, is already late. Send the multitudes away that they may go into the villages and buy themselves food. 16. But Jesus said to them, they do not need to go away. You give them something to eat. And they said to him, we have here only five loaves and two fish. He said to them, bring them here. And then he commanded the multitudes to sit down on the grass. And he took the five loaves and the two fish. Looking up to heaven, he blessed and broke and gave the loaves to the disciples. And the disciples gave to the multitudes. So they all ate and were filled. And they took up the 12 baskets full of fragments that remained. 21. Now those who had eaten were about 5,000 men besides women and children. 22. Immediately Jesus made his disciples get into the boat, go before him to the other side, while he sent the multitudes away. And when he had sent the multitudes away, he went up on the mountain by himself to pray. Now when the evening came, he was alone. Then. But the boat was now in the middle of the sea, tossed by the waves, for the wind was contrary. Now in the fourth watch of the night, Jesus went to them walking on the sea. And when the disciples saw him walking on the sea, they were troubled, saying... It's a ghost. And they cried out for fear. But immediately Jesus spoke to them saying, Be of good cheer. It is, it is I. Do not be afraid. And Peter answered him and said, Lord, if it is you, command me to come to you on the water. Let me do that again. Verse 28 because it's key. Lord, if it is you, command me to come to you on the water. So he said, come. And when Peter had come down out of the boat, he walked on the water to go to Jesus. He walked on the water to go to Jesus. He walked on the water to go to Jesus. Okay, but when he saw the wind, in other words, when he diverted his, his focus, when he, saw, when he saw that the wind was boisterous, he was afraid and beginning to sink, he cried out saying, Lord, save me. Underline that word, beginning to sink, beginning to sink, beginning to sink. He did not ask from the Lord, Lord, help me sink. He asked from the Lord, Lord, if it is you, say I should come to you, walk on the water, and Jesus said, come. So Jesus invited him to walk on the water. Jesus did not invite him to sink on the water. But here's the line, but here's the line. The, one of the things that are critical. The very thing that he walks on, as per the invitation of Jesus, which is a mammut hosa pez, hosa gminu hamba pez gamans. Lenda hamba pez gamans, in a two sides to it. When Jesus calls you to walk on it, iba class. But when a mau because when you take your focus of Jesus and you look at the size of the problem, you're beginning to sink. Now, 
there are two common parts of the stories I've just read. There's two, sto- two accounts that I've just read in Matthew 14 that are critical for our study and for you building up a successful life. Say successful life. It is very important for you to see what I'm trying to build. For you to build a successful life, you need to know these two sides of the truth. The first one, success, sometimes God gives it to us after we have believed him in a, um, in a deserted place in the wilderness. Okay, sometimes in a place where it's unlikely, where there looks like there are no resources, we are registered success. That's number one. Number two, Uncle Uncle Luchi, so Tata, the same disciples, the same disciples, Bafagas Kumbi, Amukumbi, Abantu, Yabatis, Mesaban Baham, Uchi, so she's going to have a fund in the back. But Umangal is always too, Kalo Mangal is a Wednesday, a desert. Umangal is always too, Wednesday, a manzin. La bantu basenka kona uche sugula na eba fundi sakona they must master that condition in a desert la bantu benga shali kona kunga jiwa kona uche seba fundi sa you must master that condition so that at the end of the chapter mabembuz uche suche boza mugus funda uche seba boni sot began lam I'm gonna call you sometimes uzonbiza and tell you to do things for the kingdom la banya bantu bekuwe la kona but if nazmina nazutmelen pegeban you won't sink where other people sink you will walk where other people sink that's the first lesson. Number two, you must know which was since cuttings on Tumelenda when because Nina is about apostle the pretty soon. Remember, I mean, I'm gonna go up, I'm gonna go away, I'm gonna be seated at the right hand of the Father. There's places as an affair in Jerusalem who have not embraced the truth of what I'm teaching you, who know nothing about the truth of grace, the truth of mercy, the truth of forgiveness, and the truth of God. The monotheistic God, not the polytheistic gods. The God of Isaac, a God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Who have not, based on their religious experience, created space for the God of the Lord Jesus Christ? It's a desert. But sometimes, expect you to sink, but I'm going to expect you to thrive. Remember, don't you sink now because I've taught you now that you can walk on water, you can walk on dangerous ground, you can. Do my work good dangerous, you can do my work good drive. You can do my work gung echo store, gung echo my resources, ugali kingdom ikupuga. Because I've taught you right in the desert, meaning dale is better. When the people came to him, he healed their sick. Number two, what feet? What gains are a restaurant right in the desert? So you must know how to thrive in difficult environment. You must know how to thrive in dangerous environment where everybody sinks. But bigger corner. Because most sink in our sabonagal. But belly corner le sound somewhere. Bigger corner lum food is somewhere. Bigger corner lum salon is somewhere. But in king as um shab is them sinking. I'm what you let you know. There's somebody who knows how to walk on the water who can keep you from sinking. Abantu bak begi le bafunu kuile. But Jesus is keeping you afloat for a reason. So I'm going to come to the same side. Come closer. Um seven the swans are no kunukula spusis. I got lean this into Zibe right before us pussies. I got lean this into Zibe calm, Zibe safe for God to bless us. Unkunukunu nental, he has a way of sending us into dangerous ground. God has a way of sending us into hostile among hostile people. Unkunukunu nental, I went this into Zaka, Nati Patuabantu, Abangak Fun, Abandaba Fruk Pushalem. I want to know who this is true now, but I'm going to check it by pain. Nabolo it is true. Utu Daniel Magang Pendula Bengens in Dano Gankuluku in Dano Gankuluku Yang Fagan Gunyamen Abandam La Shell and Gunyamen because sometimes Mao Yans in Dano Gankuluku will have Fagan Gunyamen is in the Funu Hafa is in the Funu would tear it apart because in Lion, what do they do? They tear you apart. What do lions do to people? Tear you apart, eat your flesh up, and you remain like bones that. Sometimes life is like that. Pam go to around us. Kunle lay on that one tear us apart. Naturally, sing a bantu si asaba. Si balege. Atun kunugul. Don't go back. Niso ne lay on the mau hamadam mau shulang zos fali milomo. Because God, what you take you through sometimes, in that one is dangerous. Mbuzu David, utu David. No man hamba echo in the tunes. Logufa kota unamien. Sometimes na ushula kona no kunugul. It looks like death is going to happen but yet you will and here's my line before we work deep into this it's not afraid in a controversial way 
around you is into zinga kora. Kulo kulo kusis. Agalindi is into zibes right. And abantu abantu ingmasi na udan. 